Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy J Mel Flow. I'm back, y'all. I'm so sorry, bro. I ain't uploaded in like six days, but I've been dealing with like a lot of problems, like with my girlfriend. Then I got finals coming up for school, and football just ended, and it was just so much crazy stuff happening on my Thanksgiving break. Man, me and I don't know, basically at a turning point. I don't know my relationship get messed up family issues just a lot of that but i'm sorry y'all i ain't uploading a while but y'all gonna do me one favor her twitter is right here that's my girlfriend i need y'all to tweet at her hashtag believe in j man a lot of stuff happened with my mom my mom told her and her parents a lot of stuff basically i don't get into the whole story and now she don't know what to believe so i need y'all if all y'all can do this bro if enough of y'all can do this i will release one of my blitzes man just hashtag believe in jmail tweet that at her and just do that for me i will if enough of y'all can do that bro i will seriously release a good ass blitz like i just need her to believe in me right now but let's get into this video uh be sure to like comment subscribe if you're new to the channel but I've been getting asked this a lot on Twitter. j -Mail, you see the defense uh, D. Jones running. How is he running it? What is he doing? This and this and this and this. Well, I'm going to show y'all. He usually uses a nickel 245, the uh, Tampa 2. But you can use, you can really use, like, whatever play you want. Like, if you want, you can use a cover 2 sink 2. Uh, like, you don't necessarily need the 245, but the 245 is probably the best way to go. Because you still got like four linebackers on the field. You can't have like more. And then you still got three DBs, like three corners. Like I said, you can use other formations. Like if you're more comfortable with nickel 335 Y, you can use that too. That probably has better run fits. But basically, you want to make sure you have a linebacker here. You want to make sure you have good two good pass rushers here. So I'll pick James, and, uh, James Harrison there. Linebacker there. Make sure you got a good linebacker there. Make sure they are linebackers who can probably cover, you know. So then he picks Tampa 2, obviously. And whatever happens, whatever they do, it don't matter what they do. They do something like this. Da -da 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 -da. I'll pick a random play. Boom, 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 whatever. Basically what he does, he rushes two people. A lot of people are like, bro, how is he playing defense like this? What is he doing? He basically manning these linebackers up on people. And he just using all his linebackers and his resources. First, he base aligns. The first thing he does, you can flip the play if you want to. It's really up to you. He base aligns. And then he usually starts to man these linebackers up on people. Like these two outside linebackers right there. He man those up on people. So then once he does that, he getting everybody manned up. He usually uh, uses this guy and bring him over here. And he usually like hide behind here. So just in case they do run, he can just fill off of him. But he usually like he mans people up. And like this is why this works. He'd do something like, he probably do something like this actually. And then he uses this guy and bring him over here to help with the run. And then he always blitz his user because uh, if you, like I said, if you only, I think he, yeah, he bluffs blitz him. If you only rushing two people, you can get pancake if they run. But now if you uh, blitz your user or the guy your user, now you can't get, uh, now you can't really get pancake. So then he can either shade underneath if you want to cover the flats. But y'all can see everyone's manned up basically except the running back but you can like if they start to run a four vertical you can easily adjust to that and man up the running back but usually this is what he does so then when they do when they do hike the ball like i'm just running play like when they do hike the ball like you literally y'all see how you can just use it the whole field you, like i said but you are only using two people so that's the other thing so that's why you want to make sure you have two good pass rushers and the other reason this was working is because he was playing they were playing draft champs so when you play draft champs like everyone knows like the line isn't that good so that's why he could get away with this somewhat but it can still work like if you're playing like like especially in salary cap mode like if you're playing like mutt this probably won't work because a lot of people have good d lines but if you're playing like salary cap or draft champs or even in like franchise or reg teams like where lines aren't stacked this method will work like i said he's just man he just utilizing these outside linebackers and like that's all he's really doing so then he would make his adjustment from there. Like, he he don't do certain adjustments. He usually adjusts to his opponent, and then he just bl blitzes his user. And then when they hike the ball, he's blitzing, but then he can go back and use it. He's watching, he's watching. Like, then he can do whatever he wants from there. And y'all see, like, that's how he locks. That's how he is able to lock up everybody because he has the flats covered. And then all he's doing is, uh, once he does that, once he has the flats covered, all he's really doing, like, all he's really, damn, what are you doing, bro? All he's really doing because he has a flats cover, he just basically 
basically it just takes away everybody on the field like y'all see like damn i think i got two people lined up on somebody somebody not lined up on somebody i don't know what i'm doing whatever like you probably do that and then he do that whatever and he always like i said but most important thing you want to remember is you always have to blitz your user because if they run the ball you will get pancake if you are rushing too but like y'all see just watching i'm watching uh and that that's just how it works and that's why he's so successful with it but you can use this out of any you can use this out of any formation any play in the game but uh where we at where we at you can use it out of any play in the game like I said, like if you wanted to use a 3-4-I, you can do that too. But I think he likes to use the nickel 2-4-5 because you got that extra DB on, on the field. Like instead of just having uh, two corners and two safeties, now you got three corners and two safeties. So it's like a little better. But like I said, it works the same way with any Tampa 2. Or like you can use this out the cover 4 too if you wanted to. Like as long as you've got those linebackers subbed in at that outside position, I really don't think you have anything to worry about. So uh, you can do this and always blitz your user. Uh, and you can even if you, and you can also sub a linebacker in here if you wanted to like these outside ends so then if there was somebody unaccounted for i could do that like if i got a linebacker there man him up on rb and then i'm blitzing my user so then when they hike the ball all i'm doing is watching i'm watching all right the running back boom i go back up to here and boom that's exactly how this tampa 2 works y'all just see it locks everything up because you have 10 people in coverage you have 10 people in coverage so at the end of the day if you got two flats covered and you got two deep zones and everyone's manned up on someone like especially when you cross man somebody the fact that that's happening is just making that play a whole lot better because it's not much they can really do and when they do run the ball and that nickel two for five the run fits especially if you have good temper two with good run fits like it, and you got linebackers in the game like they're not going to really be able to do much uh they're not going to be, be able to do much and that's why i think it's so effective that's why it is so effective it kind of reminds me of fag d from uh madden 13 i don't know if anybody remember that but that's exactly how it is like y'all see uh like from the beginning of the play you would think okay okay he's in three four like they wouldn't know what he's doing you're only rushing two everyone's cross man y'all just see how that works and boom i come off him you all you're doing is using a field and just waiting to get a block shed and you can even send a zone at them if they run out the pocket you can start spying someone if they run out the pocket like i said it's a real effective defense but i hope y'all enjoy this i'm again i'm sorry for disappearing on y'all but also be sure to tweet at my girlfriend hashtag believe in j mail any of y'all can do that any of y'all got my back any of y'all believe me y'all would do that but until then it's your boy j mail flow aka mr let's get it let's go